grand rising to my king queen gods and goddesses it's your boy terrible monster i gotta break it down to the virgo sun moon rising north node and venus now look disclaimer this is a general reading so if it resonates for you hit that like comment subscribe and share button but if it don't hey i may not be the reader for you okay so let's go ahead and drop it along and get right on into it virgo 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 Hey, the title of this one, someone may be testing you, right? So how are you going to react? Now, you don't have to fall for every opportunity, okay, that comes in your play or comes in your path during this transition right now. Make sure you weigh out your options. Make sure you know if it's good for you to move forward or if it's not, or you may be doing some self-reflection or some type of things in that type of nature to understand more about a job or a relationship or friendship or partnership or business ship, whatever kind of ship. OK, now also you got to hold yourself accountable for this Virgo. Some of you may not like this and, it's, and I'm not being rude and we just going to be real and we go through uh, we work through shadow work through here as well. So you may have to hold yourself accountable now for letting people run over you. OK, so. With that basically being said, if you're not holding firm on your boundaries or sticking to your boundaries, you will fall for anything. So maybe some of you Virgos take it as a resonate. You may need to understand more about what's going on besides your life or maybe holding yourself accountable for letting people step over your boundaries where you know if you held it right, you can get more respect or gain more respect or value, okay? Not only to yourself. Now, it may be some communication blockages for some of you Virgos that may be causing some type of anxiety. So if if you get in this type of matter, you may need to try to uh, start doing some journaling or writing down uh, how you feel if you don't want to tell nobody about it. And be uh, this is the way you can get out all your emotions and maybe just burn the paper when you finish. Talk to the universe. Uh, pray about it to God. Now, I also want to say cycles gonna fly by during this time how the wind blow okay so with that basically being said you know just take a imagine a leaf Virgo okay imagine this leaf blowing around through the wind and you know how leaves blow so sometimes you may be going through a fast transition and you may get stuck behind a tree right now I feel like you got some blockages that you may need to understand why you being this leaf stuck behind a tree while the wind blowing now you know when the current strong enough it's gonna put you back in your same transition towards the destination towards your journey in your life okay so you may need to be more patient and go look at the pros and cons about everything in life this is a self-reflection moment as well now stand up and seek from the problems from within once you go through that virgo then the faster you do it the faster you can master your emotions now people may be aggravating you or you may be feeling a little agitated around this time virgo you may need to step back and do some grounding go get yourself back in in alignment with yourself with your chakras you may need to do some um meditation go outside and do a walk in the park or if you creative uh, in that type of matter or do music or whatever it is you may need to speak or express your emotions so you can get yourself back to alignment okay not only that keep a neutral state of mind make sure you fight your triggers right now overcome them. and not only that you got to be at peace with yourself okay virgo so with that basically being said we already got it started again welcome my name is terrible one star to all my virgos welcome to all my new watchers uh cross watchers New, new subscribers, recent subscribers, and even people just strolling through just want to see what the community is like. I welcome you all, and I just want to say thank you. Now, let's go ahead and get into it. Spirit guys and the universe, I just thank you for everything that you do for anybody who come in this channel. This is a timeless reading, so whenever they see it, please lead them, guide them accordingly towards their highest good, towards the positive light. Anything that's not for them, we're going to banish that out. We're going to send that back to sender if there's any negativity or harm towards the Virgo or anybody watching. Not only that... If you get any information or download through this spirit, we just want to thank you for helping the individual right now get the clarity of how they need to move forward. I say, I say, I'm on. Okay, I say, um, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the single ball for the new new people. What we do, we hit it three times in here, like 45 to 60 seconds. So we basically breathe in positive energy and we let out all the negativity, and then we'll get started. Okay, let's see what's up. Okay, everybody, breathe in. Breathe in, Virgo. And exhale out all the negativity, all the things that you no longer want. Breathe in. Positive energy we're breathing in towards your highest good. Exhale out all the bad. It's not for you. All the stress, all the worry, all the concerns. 
One more time. And breathe out. All right, Virgo, 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 you may need to clean your space. I'll sweep that up in a minute. You may need to clean your space, but right now I feel like you may have some attachments or uh, all up on you. You may be having some negative thoughts that's going on as well, Virgo. Make sure you keep your mind clear and keep yourself balanced in what's going on in your everyday life, okay? Because mentally, this is the main key for us to grow. The main key for success is for you to turn around and get yourself together. Some of you may need to uh, grab some lapis lazuli if you're used to uh, crystals. Not only that... Uh, maybe you need to go deeper in meditation and maybe get some, um, I want to say amethyst around your house also, but also, um, if some of you may be strong enough for Motivite, I can finally start, uh, announcing that out. Be careful with Motivite though, because it's very strong and it'll lift your vibrations. If you don't know nothing about that one, leave that one alone. And I also want to say, um, it's on the tip of my tongue. But I will get it in a second, Virgo. All right, Spirit Guys in the Universe again, we thank you. Let's go ahead and get started and see what's up with Virgos, okay? Spirit Guys in the Universe, what is the energy that we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, North, Northern, Venus? I'm sorry. So I feel like everything may be coming out to play for you, Virgo, okay? Now, the current energy that we have right now, I feel like you being joyous, but I feel like, again, somebody may be preying on your downfall right now because we got the sun card basically being in reverse. So it may be something that you need to be seeking out as a warning, or it may be something that you feel like may not be no longer growing for you. It can be a person, place, or thing. Take it as it resonates. But I feel like also, if it is some type of situation or somebody trying to come to you the wrong way, you're not giving in to the energy right now. You're not putting in no effort. So it may be a delay on your happiness for a minute, okay? Because it's clarified by the Six of Wands basically being reversed, the Fool reversed, the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Clarify that by the Two of Cups, but we'll get more about that Two of Cups in a minute. So I feel like even though you being hesitant in some type of delay that you're moving in some type of action, I feel like you no longer being carefree on it. I feel like don't... uh. It may be some immature energy with somebody. Take it as it resonates, but I feel like it's no longer growing. I feel like it's creating some type of concerns or some type of doubts with you, and this could be dealing with love with some of you in the situation, okay? Now, let's go ahead. When we see the Six of Wands, Leo Sagittarius Aries that you could be dealing with. So with the Six of Wands basically being in reverse, that is letting us know that it may be some type of failure or something that's coming in in the delay, right? Like I said before. Not only that, we got the Fool card basically being in reverse, so I feel like somebody may be foolish or immature or somebody may be very irresponsible take it as it resonates i feel like somebody may be trying to play your emotions or somebody may be trying to test you just to see how far they can get i feel like even though this is our energy capricorn taurus and virgo energy with the uh, seven of pentacles basically being in, in reverse i feel like even though the hard work that you may put in this and i feel like you may want a little bit of stability in this and not only that i feel like it's something that's no longer inspiring you to grow or you may be rushed into some type of decision that you may be having to make so you may need to take some time out with yourself again even when it's dealing with this karmic uh it could be a potential partner i don't want to say karmic i don't uh i just want to keep it like the energy as it is it may be something that may need to be balanced out in that situation as well but let's dig farther into it okay virgo spirit guys in the universe what do we have for virgo sun moon rising north node and venus i say can i get one more please Virgo. All right, Virgo, again, yes, with something that's being hesitant, it's about this offer uh, or maybe some type of love type of situation that's dealing with your emotions, okay? I feel like you are being hesitant about giving your love out to somebody with the Queen of Cups basically being in uh uh, right, you could be dealing with uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or they can be feeling this, take it as it resonates. But I feel like somebody's being hesitant about giving this type of information out, okay? I feel like somebody may think you either naive or you may think somebody naive in this matter as well. Because just look at it, even though we, you probably want to pour your emotions into somebody, but I feel like somebody may be hesitant. Or again, you may be hesitant about the situation because you don't want to feel foolish 
in a manner as you going through every day by day process. So I feel like somebody may be testing you and trying to see how much investments that you're going to put in with the Knight of Cups basically being uh, right. They want to see if you're going to be in tune with your emotions or you may be in tune with your emotions. And I feel like it may be creating some type of stress or some type of concerns about this potential relationship, okay? This is for some of you, okay? But this is looking like it's more of a relationship situation, Virgo. So, again, it could be somebody to take it as it resonates. It can be a, someone close to you. It can be a friend. It can be a partner. It can be anyone. Spirit guys in the universe. What do we have for Virgo? This is dealing with a partner. What is the message? I say, I say, let's see what we have. I feel like you need, okay, Virgo, I feel like something, what it is, I feel like you finally getting to know one each other, or you may need to get to know more about one another if you're dealing with a relationship or some type of friendship or partnership or whatever ship that it is. Again, I feel like it's a warning that you're seeing. I feel like the, um, the layers is finally being uncovered, or you finally probably seeing this. You could be dealing with a person or a job for over six, around six months now, or somebody around longer than three months or a couple of cycles, okay? Again, I feel like you being hesitant or pouring your emotions because you empathic. You feel like something that ain't right, and you feel like the person may think you naive in the matter, but you being in more in tune with your emotions. Not only that, you giving some type of concerns about this partner, so that's why you got this warning like you happy and you feel it but you just know something ain't right or something's is being plotted against you take it as it resonates Virgo I can understand the energy is kind of all over the place so let's go ahead and no I want to see something else spirit guys in the universe what is another message that you have for Virgo when it comes to this sun card basically being in the reverse what messages you got to protect your heart. So that's what you may be doing, protecting the wild and the green. So when I feel like this, I feel like it's something that you uh you protecting yourself or you feel like you cannot free yourself the way that you normally be, Virgo, okay? Now, not only that, let's go ahead and pull another one. I also feel like you may be feeling like you sell it out on yourself or you're not being true to yourself or being real to yourself. That's why when the sun card being your main energy, like you happy, but you also feel like some type of warning or you may feel like it's some type of no growth going on right now in this current situation, okay? So let's go ahead and see some of the challenges. Spirit guides in the universe, what are some of the challenges for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, North, Northern Venus? I'll show you, can I, oh, y'all just be popping. Thank you. Okay, let's go ahead. Now, I feel like right now we got the three of wands basically being in reverse. Again, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. Maybe your willpower is not willing to expand right now the way that you want to. Maybe you are starting to look at different options and different views. Not only that, it may be some type of communication blockages or, again, some type of communication issues. It may be some type of discord or you may want to separate or take some space or a timeout. You or this partner want to do this. Or maybe this is with one of the challenges where you got to step back and realize and start expanding your mind to understand more about why your emotions suppress because it's clarified by the uh, Ace of Cups basically being in reverse, the Four of Cups in reverse, the Nine of Swords in reverse as well, okay? So if something may be suppressing you in this, in this moment, it's creating you to go down to this flattened energy, okay? But I feel like you are starting to see the light of things and seeing how a pattern or you may need to see how a pattern is going off, okay? Because with the emperor, this could be you. You can start being like being more structured, or you starting to see the light that is not going for your structure. Or this can also be somebody that's trying to control you in a type of situation with beyond your mean. I'm not saying control in the physical. It can be control also in the uh in the subconscious realm also, okay? Not only that, let's get some more clarification. Spirit guys in the universe, what is some clarification? Why is this Ace of Cups here in the challenge? Why is the Four of Cups here in the challenge? I'll show you. Let's go ahead and see what's going on. Alright, Virgo. I'm trying to understand. Okay. Now, 
Again, three of wands, no communication, tensions may rise up. It may suppress your emotions, okay? It may be something that you uh that's gonna hinder you down for a little bit, or it may be something that's bothering you, okay? Not only that, Virgo, you may also need to realize it may be a choice that you're taking, and this is the decision that you may be taking. Is it really worth going through a partnership? Is it really worth going through a stability moment? Is this really worth adapting to, okay? Not only that, even though the challenges may feel like it's flat or you may be feeling like you drained or feel like it's not going to be no growth. Also, with this page of pentacles basically being in reverse, this is our energy as well. You may be feeling like you can't trust this person as well. Even though you know it's a lover, even though you know it's the divine divine match, you just starting to be more stern or you being more analytical and more uh, perceptive about what's going on in the world and you starting to see the light in the recovery about this situation. Could be a Leo that you dealing with or Aries. Like, you really as a person is very structured but yet controlling at the same time Virgo okay so you trying to realize are you going to keep it or are you going to stand firm in your masculine energy not only that Virgo while you standing it's a decision that you got to make there may be a crossroad that may have another cycle to come on to it or so somebody may be trying to test you in that matter income in a blindfolded type of way okay so I feel like if a situation do come up it may come up out of nowhere not only that Virgo it's time for you to stand up and take off your mask. Some of you may feel like you may be adapting to a situation, but it's time for you to stand firm in your judgment in everything that's going on, okay? It's to, if you stand now, you can again, it's saying respect your boundaries. You stand hard now, or you stand for nothing, okay, Virgo? Not only that, it may be a challenge with you and this partner because I feel like it's not uh, blissful, or some of you if you are married, uh, it could not be a honeymoon that you want, or the happiness of the honeymoon phases is gone. So even if you in a relationship, I feel like the newness is gone in the relationship and the challenges that you see that it's not going to be the same. You starting to blossom into a new season when it comes to this relationship, okay? Not only that, Spirit Guys and the Universe, what else do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, North, 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 What else do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, North, 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 Can I get one more, please? I'm sorry. All right, Virgo, we got the Ten of Wands clear, in reverse, clarified by the Knight of Swords in reverse, the Star, and also the Ace of Wands. So I feel like with the Ten of Wands basically being in reverse, it's some type of action uh, sir, or, or a cycle that you're starting to see that uh, is lightening up and you know everything is going to come out fine for you, okay? Spirit also wants me to let you know that. So even though you may feel like a little tension or a little stress right now was going on, as long as you mentally keep yourself together with the Knight of Swords, basically being in reverse, okay? So just letting us know, you got to keep that courage because right now you may feel like people can't be trusted or you may feel like some type of, somebody may be trying to test you to see how far they can go, but you need to understand you are going through a self-test process, a self-healing process, or maybe you just need to take all your worries and give it to the vine, okay? Even though a new starting point is coming in for you, you are taking the new off, uh, the new effort and new, new ways of looking at things with actually with your willpower so you will push on so spirits trying to tell you that everything is going to be all fine through uh fine through this manner okay spirit guys and the universe what else do we have for virgo sun moon rising north northern Venus? All right, even though you may see things coming in with the Knight of Swords clarified by this, basically, basically both being in reverse. So even though you feel like people can't be trusted, right, uh, make sure you take the progress that you need in order with this healing, okay? Not only that... Not only that, while you are healing, make sure you're healing from not being, having so much anxiety with yourself mentally, okay? You got to create a new starting point in your life, and you got to just let things flow the way that it is. It's a lesson in a cycle that you need, okay? Because once you start flowing with this new effort, you will start getting to the contentment that you need emotionally towards your wish fulfillment, okay? Virgo, not only that. It is safe for you to love, okay? So you may need to start loving yourself. It's okay to be around whatever partner that you with. Just still continue to give them a chance. If this dealing with a situation that can be reconcilable, let me say it correctly, okay? Not only that, Virgo, you need to also realize spirit have you to the... Uh, 
you got to see both sides. Become a shapeshifter for a minute. Look at both sides of scenarios, okay? Now, um, not only that, Virgo, I also want to say that, uh, again, you almost at your last step. How teachable are you? Maybe this is a moment that may be frustrating you because you need to learn from a moment and somebody somebody may be a, re a mirror reflection of what you are. So it's time for you to go through some nourishment, okay? Through this new beginning cycle, you still got to be harmonious in it. So if you meditate, use mirror mudra okay this help you in inner nourishment breath and serenity promotes abdominal breathing provides relief for asthma so, um, and also supports reproductive uh liminary and urinary systems directs breath to your sacrum lower back and pelvis now this is how you do this one you're doing the tips of the thumb to the tips of the pinkies on the same hand um, bring the joint fingers and thumbs of each hand to touch at the tips. Extend other fingers and join the tips of the ring fingers together. Allow hands to rest and lap just below the navel. Relax your shoulders but lengthen your spine. Focus on this. My natural breath flows in calm and nourishing ways. My natural breath flows in calm and nourishing ways. So Virgo, basically what you got to do is just turn around. If anybody trying to play you, you know how the situation goes. Stand firm on your boundaries. We already went through the blueprint of how this is going to go through or how you can get through it. I just also want to say it's, so, it's safe for you to love yourself. It's so uh, Even though things may not be going the right way, just stay in your boundaries. Don't let people just walk over you. And if they try to walk over you, they may not be around meant for you for your highest good. Okay? So, peace, love, and light. Light, love, and peace. Hit that like, comment, subscribe subscribe and share but now to close this out like we always say i just want to say i love you god love you the universe definitely love you but just make sure you love yourself that's the most important thing and that's all that matters to us on this channel okay baby see you to the next time